Ikea Creates, bringing journal inspiration, stickers and playful creativity. And today we have an unboxing of this magical, mysterious parcel that showed up the other day. It's a Happy Mail package created for me by the wonderfully talented Evie of Moss Makes and Creates and Rusty Magpie. Somehow I missed that, I didn't realise who it was from at first and I was like, what is this magical parcel doing here? With a handmade journal inside it that's a little house. And when I tell you this thing is filled to the brim with magical bits and bobs, look at this. I'm going to show you a little bit of every pocket because if I showed you absolutely everything in it, we would be here all day. There is so much love and detail packed into this that I actually shed a few tears when I was looking through it because it just felt so special. So every page of this little amazing house journal seems to have a theme. So we're on this kind of like brown labels and vintage kind of materials and clocks and stamps page which is amazing and then we turn the page to this which is like stars and moons and covered in these tiny hand-drawn doodles which I was just amazed by. Everything on this page and in these pockets is kind of like celestial and magical and kind of astrological. Then we have these hand, is it hand sewn pockets? Yeah, of like all these little sparkly stars and then in here there's a whole Kind of garland of sparkly stars and I was just so in awe and we're only two pages in everything is so wonderful and I'm already having so many ideas for like how I'll use all of these bits in my journal spreads and while I'm showing you everything in here I want you to imagine me sat down in my living room turning the pages slowly like confused but in awe with every pocket I opened and sticker I found I was showing my boyfriend like look at this bit look at this oh my god look at this like who is this from and why has this magic appeared here there's even a handwritten poem in here, like how special can it get? And this page with the little treasure chest full of treasures and padlocks and keys. And even inside the gramophone, there's little like old clocks on brown paper. Every detail of this page is so pretty. I think this one, it's hard to choose, but I feel like this might be my favourite page because you've got all these vintage details on one side and then this magical witchy page on the other side with a tiny little shelf of so many jars that I can't wait to use, but I also kind of want to keep on the shelf because they just look so cute. I'm going to have to use some and keep some in there because... It's just wonderful. It's like a little doll's house in a journal. And then in this shelf, there's candles and tarot cards. It's such a cute witchy page. And then this little hand-drawn cauldron has little witches inside. And then all of these little bubble stickers that were arranged so beautifully to make it look like the bubbles were coming out of the cauldron. It's just amazing. And then on the back page, we have this pocket, which looks like it's filled with hand-stamped ephemera, which is so cute. This seems to be like a dark and magical apothecary themed page, kind of a continuation from the one before with the cauldron, because we also have another cute little shelf, but this one's kind of spooky. It's got skulls, skulls in jars, jars of different ingredients and even little eyes. And if you know me, you know I love themed things and I love journaling and themes. So having each of these pages have such an obvious distinct theme, it's just so exciting to me. We also have a pull out pocket of loads of washi tapes. Amazing. I didn't find that the first time. I realised the second time that you had to pull that out. So that was a really nice surprise. And then these pages are Christmas themed. Another little themed world to delve into. So we've got so many little bits of Christmas ephemera. They're so, so cute. And I can't wait to use these for winter journal challenge in December. And there's more surprise washi in this page too with like a wintry Christmassy theme and then a whole pocket full of ephemera and patterned paper of all these Christmassy things and honestly it feels right because this kind of felt like Christmas had come very early. This is like this parcel is an amazing Christmas present in itself. Look at all those Christmas bits in one little pocket. And before we carry on with the unboxing, Evie, I just want to say this is a master work of craftsmanship. Like to be able to make a journal like this is incredible. To make it like a little house, to fill it with all of these little details and magic. It's just so wonderful and so special. And I just want you to know that you're very talented and I've never seen anything like it, honestly. So I can't even begin to explain how much inspiration you've brought me. And I will never stop saying thank you because you're amazing. And even though it's like the star of the show of this box, you think, how could it get better? There is still so much more to show. So we have this cute little paper garland. I had a letter from Evie, which I won't show because it's a bit more personal. But it was at the moment where I opened the letter where I actually realised who this was from. And I was like, oh, OK, because up until that moment, it was a total mystery. So I was just like in awe of why this amazing parcel had landed. Oh, I forgot to show you the cute charm on the journal. How sweet is that? 
then you know I got excited again when I saw a little pocket that said stickers on it and they're all Halloween themed how sweet it's so cute and I like this little thing that's like I think it's from stamps it's such a good idea to put the stickers in there so you can peel them off and put them back so I will also be inspired not only by the stickers and using them but the idea of how to store the stickers too and then we have this little packet absolutely brimming with ephemera and pieces of patterned paper. So a little note from Evie explained that these are from like different places, including some papers from her aunt and some from her childhood. And it felt really special to be able to have little pieces of that collection. I also love collecting scraps of patterned paper and using them in my journal spread. So as you'll see, there is a lot. And Evie even mentioned the guitar packet, the guitar string packet, sorry, that they came in. Um, she said maybe that would make a good Halloween frame and I totally agree like that's such a good idea so I will be using that and probably adding some of these into my Halloween journaling box just so I remember when October comes around that I've got all these goodies to use in there. Oh you thought we were done with magical surprises? Nope I opened this and look at how much there is to see and explore like I haven't I'll show you inside the envelopes and I'll show you some of the stickers I pulled out but I know I haven't even explored everything that this little packet has to offer because there's so many cute little bits in there we've got all wax seals and tiny little stickers stamp stickers stickers of different themes there's some like nice autumnal ones there's so many mushrooms and pumpkins and it just fills my heart with joy there's part of me that wants to keep this exactly as it is because it's just so wonderful to look at and have them all there but if you've heard me speak about this before we don't save our stickers for best we don't listen to the voice that says we should never use them we listen to the voice that says let's use them let's make the most of them because that's what stickers are for so i'm going to honor this incredible package by actually using loads of the stuff in it to make journal spreads oh and look at all of the little doodles on this by the way all hand drawn this must have taken ages as someone who spends ages doodling stars and swirls and dots on things i know that it takes a long time so <laughs> there's a lot of time gone into this and as you can see i wasn't lying when i said there was a lot to show you so we have another pocket filled to the brim this one is with note cards and little pages from notepads i love how everything is organized into the, not only themes but into the little item types as well there's a school notepad which will be fun in the halloween journal a cute little fairy notepad that says don't forget to eat your peas which i found funny and then i think these are my favorite from the pocket they're like little mice that one's got like cookies and bread and this one's got donuts and cakes they're just so sweet i really love them and we've got things to do notepads as well there's so much good stuff in here and some washi tape hiding at the back i'm obsessed with these washi tapes because i love rolled doll and these ones are like rolled doll themed washi tapes you've got the giraffe the pelly and me themed washi tape seo trot willy wonka james and the giant peach and they're amazing i did my um, university dissertation on translations of rolled doll books into Spanish and Portuguese. I really love rolled doll and I always have since I was little and the illustrations by Quentin Blake are just their childhood to me so to have these on washi tapes which I've never seen before is so cool and there's also Nightmare Before Christmas washi tapes which is something else that I love so they'll be going into the Halloween journal. And it's not over yet. Last but not least, we have this magical little pocket of ephemera. We've got that beautiful moon and then a lot of like autumnal themed things, little bits of lace. I love that peppermint sticker. We've got a little Halloween witch. I just love the nice eclectic mix of bits and bobs in here. A thing that I think people who don't journal wouldn't understand is that a collection of items like this every little piece is like a potential journal spread that's kind of beginning to unlock in your mind so this is kind of like a menu of things that you could make and i think that's why it's so special because it just contains so much inspiration and then this is another little pocket that i missed on the first time when i opened it and i realized this time when i was unboxing it's loads of little sparkly bits and bobs and scraps from other projects that Evie said she keeps for things and I think it's a really good idea and I'd like to make some handmade paper with these sparkly bits sprinkled in and we even have these like skeletons of old stickers and look at the cute tiny writing Evie your writing is so nice and I can't finish off this unboxing without mentioning how nice the tissue paper is that's inside here I didn't realize because it just looked so amazing this is all, it's all hand stamped because it's the same stamps that I used on the front of this and it's just so cute so I'll also be using this so thank you and then the box itself is cute too like you've even put stickers of stars on the box 
it just can't get any more magical than this. So here's me arranging all of this to try to fit it into one photo, but it really doesn't do it justice. I'm glad that I've been able to share each individual element with you because you can just see how much magic is packed in here. Thank you so much again to Evie from Moss Makes and Creates and Rusty Magpie. This is incredible, you're amazing. And thank you to everyone who watched. I hope you enjoy unboxing this with me and I will see you again next week. Bye.